Why you got a lie? And LA posted with Kai. Why you got a lie? What up, what up? What up, what up, Wire It's your girl B back from the video for you. Your mommy your daddy auntie ain't uncle on y'all too then because I read that title so I know we finna get into straight like that. So it's currently 1916, 7:16, and I'm outside in the snow. Only because I just wanted to switch it up. Like, you know, do a little video outside. The whole thing was for y'all to see the snow. But for y'all to see me, y'all can't see the snow too. But look, it's very mature. You know what? I don't even know why I just did that. Because it don't be cold until you touch something cold. But this video is going to be a life update. That's why I read about the title. But we got some video essentials since we outside in the snow and the cold. It's like, hold on. Let me drop the degrees on y'all right quick. It's 31 degrees. No, 28 updated. It's 28 degrees. Check me out, though. But it ain't cold out here to me. Like, it's really not cold until you touch the snow. So, I got hand warmers and I got some gloves because I don't even know why I just did that. Smoke can all my too. But basically, y'all, we finna. You no, know, the gloves is not even necessary. They're just extra weight. they too small or something. Okay, I'll wear a glove on one of my hands and put a hand warmer in there, but not the opposite because that's what I'm going to touch my phone with. And these are not them gloves that you can touch your phone with. So this video is basically going to be a life update because some stuff is going to change for me and which means some stuff is going to change for y'all too. So basically, I just want to, you know, update y'all on some of the stuff that's been going on in my life and that's going to start going on in my life, if that makes sense. So... Yeah, I'm basically fin to get into it. So the first topic that I want to touch on is mental health because I feel like that just started all off. So first, um, I want to say like my mental health is, I don't know, a few months ago I was depressed. So I'm not depressed no more. Definitely that's gone. Uh, I don't know. My mental health is like stable. Like I'm feeling good. Like I went through a, a time where I was like just sad and down and didn't want to do nothing. I was still from videos sometimes for like two without with two years that's why these past two years my youtube schedule has been like on and off because like sometimes i want to film sometimes i don't so then sometimes i'll take months off sometimes i just take a week off like i would just stop filming sometimes and even when i was filming like i was there in a the video was what i wasn't there like mentally type if that makes sense y'all i'm really not good with my words so if sometimes i sound all over the place y'all gotta excuse me i'm not good with my words at all but my mental health is definitely better than it was. Like, I'm not happy, but I'm not sad, if that makes sense. Like, I'm doing better. And the only reason I why that is is because of God. So, if you don't got a relationship with God, I just want to tell you you need to get right with God. So, that leads me on to the second topic, which is keeping faith. Oh, y'all, yeah, I also got this little gun bucket out here because I thought this is what I was going to set my camera on. But I ended up not because it was way too high and I ain't that tall. So, also... How do I like, you know, keeping faith is, that's not something that's like come easy to everybody, especially if you don't have, you know, a close relationship with God and everybody don't believe in God, which I do. I believe in God. People say the higher powers, whatever you want to say, I say God, because that's, you know, that's what I believe. But for me, the things I really do to keep faith, if faith is, I have a real, me and God are here. Like, we here, that's why I am where i am now that's how i feel and i feel like you just have to keep faith because if you don't have faith you're gonna always want to you know give up or stop and that's really the reason why i keep faith is because if you want to get somewhere in life and you want to be something that you're not now you have to keep faith because you have to have faith that you'll get there that if you keep trying if you keep pushing you'll get there and that's really what makes me like i want to be up in life like with youtube i'm not at all where i want to be i'm satisfied with where i am type Cause I feel like I'm in a good space. I get good views. I got subscribers. I'm finna hit 5k y'all. We on the road to that. So if you ain't subscribed now, nah, let me pause. Go ahead and subscribe too. They turn my comments back on. So comment something. Y'all comment y'all birthday. My birthday, May 13th. Don't celebrate it though, but it's my birthday. And yeah though, that's just how I keep faith. By knowing like, you know, one day I'm going to be where I want to be. But you know, I got to push to get where I want to go. Like you're not going to get nowhere by just 
thinking like okay i'm gonna be there one day if you want to be somewhere you want to get somewhere in life you got to put in that work to get there it ain't just gonna come to you it ain't just gonna fall in your hand which is possible it can i do believe in blessings and miracles too so that's possible that it can happen but a lot of things if you want them in life you gotta work for them it ain't just gonna come to you it ain't just gonna fall into your hand that's also what i had to realize like with youtube ain't nothing like your channel can definitely blow up overnight like certain videos because i do have some videos that i look at as viral in my eyes so if you scroll down my page i got a few of them so with youtube it's kind of like a i feel like it's like a system like you're not gonna get nowhere in youtube if you're not giving it your off you're not consistently posting your channel it's not gonna go nowhere because youtube not one of them things where you know your kind your channel could just blow up even though it can it's not like that you gotta be putting that work because people gonna with youtube i know i keep saying this but with youtube it's like for you to get make good money off youtube which i'm really not worried about the money but for you to have you know a lot of subscribers and for you to have good views you have to post things that's interesting you can't just be putting anything out on youtube you gotta watch you gotta put out something that somebody will actually want to watch and that's something somebody's actually interested in watching you know you can't just be putting out anything and that's why i struggle with posting consistency consistently because i always be in the house and i know nobody want to see me sitting in the house all the time just doing nothing so i'll be trying to find different content that's why i'm finna switch it up for y'all like i'm talking about switch it up i want to do a video trash room in my room even though when i said something to her i'm gonna trash the room one day she was like no but like you're not gonna know till i do it you know so i really want to trash my mom room y'all so give this video a thumbs up if y'all think i should which i really want to because like why not you know why not trash her room okay the next topic is school so i want to talk this talk to y'all about this because i haven't really talked to i talked to some of my friends about it but not really like i haven't really you know talked to my friends about it but i have but i haven't not because i'm nervous because i really don't be caring what people think or like people's opinions but you know sometimes people's opinions sometimes i let others opinions bother me like i don't let others opinions change how i think but sometimes i bother their opinions like damn you know not really that they bother me but i'll sometimes be like that's how you look at it or you know that's how you feel about something so it will type bother me but never bother me to where i want to change what i'm doing or the decision that i chose so right now in school let's see i'm gonna keep it a hundred with y'all i'm keeping a hundred done today is january 22nd i haven't been to school since last year december no not like you know as in last school year but as in since december i haven't been to school at all in the new year y'all know we've been been went back since winter break and i haven't been back and i honestly can't tell y'all why i just haven't and like i've always had a problem with school and absences i don't got unenrolled out of school for being absent like behind the camera i feel like a lot of people think people that want to do youtube some people think like they're perfect or they don't have no problems and they don't go through nothing but we real people and we go through real life problems like i be going through it i be going through a lot of things at home but this ain't no sad story because everybody got one but don't nobody want to hear that you know you got to either get it get up and get it done or just sit in your sorrow and that's something that i'm not gonna keep doing but yeah i ain't been to school since december and that ain't nothing to brag about that ain't nothing that i'm proud of but that's just truth and me telling y'all this is because um with school now I'm currently working, dang, some of my family gonna see this video and they gonna be like, you ain't even told me yet, I need to tell my pops, but it is what it is. So I'm currently working to get into this tech, well it's a school, but if I say the school county name, then y'all gonna know where I be at and that ain't for y'all to know. Basically I'm going to, it's like a early college, that's what it's called, the school, but for me they have a program for high schoolers where you can finish your high school so where you can finish high school and you can get your diploma but it's like adult classes and it's like at your own pace so like i could graduate early if i choose to get on it and get on the classes but i'm not sure that you get a high school graduation which i kind of have a problem with because i feel like if i work this hard i should definitely be able to walk across the stage but at the end of the day if i don't get to walk across the stage it's okay because i know my family's gonna turn up for me regardless we're gonna turn up so yeah but i'm finna do i'm currently being switched into this program where it's online and you get it's like your own pace but i want to do it because it's at your own pace and which means i can get done with school quicker as long as i'm on my p's and q's and do what i need to do i'm gonna get done with school quicker than what i would be if i was in high school but i'm still in high school but it's just a different type of high school like it's virtual high school but you know it's basically the same i'm just not going in person and it's at my own pace other than when you're in school you have to follow the teacher's pace you know the school system's pace it's at my own pace which means i can even do it slower which i'm not going to do or i can get it done faster which is the main reason why i want to do it but 
yeah so that's what that with school school just hard like it really kicked me everybody was like um you know i really never had a real year of high school i was the year when ninth grade hit i mean yeah, when covid hit i was in ninth grade and we didn't get to finish our school year the whole 10th grade year so my whole summer four season i was online and junior now we've been in school as far as, as of now we've been in school the whole year but i'm finna clock out finna clock out i'm gonna miss my friends and i am gonna miss going to you know in-person school but i feel like i have to do what's best for me because me getting up and going to school every day i be skipping i be living the motherfucking life like i'm not even gonna sit here and cap y'all like i'm just gonna keep her in this video i'll be going to school but i don't be going to school like i be skipping the day away whether i'm walking somewhere like i'll go to waffle house and eat with some of my friends like i'll be living up the life at school like because why not like, I don't know, I feel like you only live once, so I never hesitate to do nothing fun or do something that I know I'm going to enjoy doing. Rather, if it's going to bring bad, like, not if it's going to bring something real bad, then I won't do it. But sometimes it's going to have bad consequences, but I'm still going to do it because I know that I'm always going to look back at this moment like, damn, I ain't got to have fun, you know? Especially when I'm young, I'll be just living my life and having fun because why not? And, yeah, so I'm going to get um transfer to an online school instead of doing regular high school but i'm still going to school this week and until i get enrolled so i do before i leave in person school i want to give y'all a school vlog because i ain't ever done that since eighth grade and that video not even on my channel anymore and the next type um topic is changing my name so right now y'all know my top my name is why i ran which means young rich nigga and brie of course brie that's me but i feel like why i ran that's not me no more like, not saying I ain't no young rich nigga or that's not what I want to be because it is. But I feel like as far as, you know, when you bring in your YouTube, that's building your brand, you know, whether y'all see like that or not. Me having my YouTube is a type of brand, you know, the start of my brand. Let me say it like that. So I feel like that's not me no more. Like, that's me, but it's not the name that I want for my brand or really the name that I want for myself anymore. Like, I made this name in eighth grade. I was young. And, you know, I rode with it until now. So, like, eighth through 11th but now i feel like it's time for me to change my name and today i uploaded a poll on my instagram that's why y'all should really be tuning my instagram so y'all can always know when i post if i'm finna post sometimes help me pick out thumbnails now that's more so on my spam so i'll put my youtube i mean my instagram right here my spam right here and y'all go follow both of them now spam everybody can't get in because you know some that be personal but most of y'all gonna get in for sure but yeah so i'm gonna change my name so i have a few names like i'm not sure if i want to do brie which is what everybody calls me or Lil Bree. Now, a lot of people be like, where did Lil Bree come from? Why do you like the name? Okay, so I got Lil Bree when I was a freshman in high school. I had this teacher named Coach Keaton. And for some reason, I don't know where he got it from. I think they got it from because I'm little. Not little in age, but like little. Like if you ever see me in person or, you know, just see me, period, I'm little. I'm five foot and I don't got that much speed on my body. I'm little. So I really think that's where he got the name from, which I'm not 100% sure. But one day I walked in to the gym and I'm telling y'all it was the most embarrassing thing. Because my freshman year of high school, the school was like bad. Like we used to have a lot of fights or whatever. So they used to make everybody go into the gym in the morning, which I mean like 9th through 11th. I mean 9th through 12th was all in the gym. So every day I would walk into the gym and he would be sitting at the door and he would yell out in front of everybody, Lil Bree. But he would say it in like this kind of voice. And that's really how I got the name. So now some people call me, most people still call me Bree, but some people call me Lil Bree. But I don't know. He said that nobody, I don't really think nobody ever called me Lil Bree before. And I personally like the name. Like, I be saying that's my alter ego, if that makes sense. Like, I don't, not I'm two people or nothing, but I be saying Lil Bree is my alter ego. And I just really like the name Lil Bree. I feel like it just flows. So I don't know what I want to change my name to, but I haven't decided yet if I want to use Bree or Lil Bree, but I know it's going to be one of them, but I'm just not sure what. I was. I have a few names I like. Like, people are saying Life is Bree or Life as Lil Bree. The one I really like that I'm stuck on is Lil Bree TV. Or somebody said Bree TV. Like, I posted a poll. Somebody was like, um, Bree Mafia. That's cool, but I'm really stuck on Lil Bree TV or Bree TV. So, drop some names in the comments, or if y'all like some of the names I said, let me know which name you like. And we're going to go on to the next topic. But my name is definitely getting changed. Like, that's not a I want to. It is I want to, but I'm definitely changing my name. Because I'm not going to keep going. That's why I didn't breathe. Even though it's something wrong with it, I loved it while I had it. But that, it got to go. We got to go ahead and get that out of here. Okay, so 
the next thing is feeling discouraged so the reason why i chose this topic originally this topic wasn't gonna be a part of my you know video because i've been planning to do this video but last night i posted a video and i just the video didn't do it at all and i was just feeling like i don't usually feel discouraged with youtube i be feeling discouraged with a lot of things in life but youtube never make me feel discouraged because it's something that i really want to do and it's something that i enjoy doing like i enjoy getting up and talking to y'all like i enjoy talking to a camera well not a camera because i don't look at it like that i look at it as i'm talking to people that love me people that support me that's how i look at it so i enjoy doing that but yesterday i posted a video and the video did not do good at all and i was just like damn it just really humbled me more like more than a discouraging it was kind of like a humbling like you know i feel like i should be further even though i always feel like you know wherever you are that's where god has you for a reason he's preparing you for whatever's next and whatever it is you know to come so I notice where I'm supposed to be at, but sometimes I feel like I should be further. So, you know, I just got like real discouraged because the video did bad. My video, ain't none of my videos did, did that bad in a little minute. Even though my views have been going down, but that's because I haven't been consistent like that. So that's also part of the reason why I'm realizing like, look, you're not going to get nowhere on YouTube posting when you want to post. You got to have to post consistently like once or twice a week or, you know, I'll never get nowhere. But that's something I know. But yeah, so when I feel discouraged, all I do like, I talk to God or I'll talk to my friends because I know they'll give, they'll give me encouraging words and telling me like reasons of, you know, why to keep going. There's people out here that love you, people that comment, people that DM sometimes. So it's like, okay, I do got people that support me. So it's like, if I give up now, and that's also like, if I give up now, I'm always think like, okay, where I would have been if I didn't give up or, you know, like if you give up, you always going to have that thought of, okay, well, I could have been here if I kept going or I wonder how far I would have been. But if you keep going, you'll find out and you won't have to always wonder. So it's like, why give up, you know? So when I'm feeling discouraged, that's what I just tell myself. Like, you're going to spend the rest of your life thinking, where could I have been or where could I have went with this if I would have kept going? Then, you know, if you just keep going, you can find out. And also, like I say, just keep, keep your faith up. Get a relationship with God. Make sure y'all in tune. You know, that's. I mean, I can't tell y'all, you know, what to do or what to believe in. But if the, you do believe in God, then make sure you write with him, man. You got a close bond with him because they really do help you out a lot. Okay, the next goal is confidence. I mean, the next topic is confidence. And the only reason why uh, I chose this as a topic is because you have to be confident to be on camera. Like, confident with yourself. And, you know, you have to love yourself or ain't nobody else going to love you, you know. And I'm still getting better with confidence. Like, I'm confident. I know that, you know, I'm pretty individual and, you know, I'm pretty inside and out. But sometimes when I be on camera, I don't be wanting to do, you know, certain stuff. Because I be like, okay, well, I don't want to do this, you know, when somebody look at me, like, you know, in a way. So certain stuff I don't be doing on camera. But, like, lately, i just been doing whatever I want on camera and being a real me on camera because... People going to love you. If people actually love watching you and, you know, want to see what you do with your life, they're going to love you for whoever you are and whatever you're doing. They're going to love it and they're going to be happy for you, whatever you're doing. You know, like I said, I'm not too good with my words, so I'm trying to explain it in the best way that I can. But um, I, what helps me being confident on camera lately, you know, I'm just getting better with it, but I've been doing real good lately. It's because, like I said, if my supporters, which is y'all, you know, really love me and enjoy watching me, y'all gonna stick with me basically through no matter who i am if i'm silly goofy i don't really know what to say i am i'm just i really don't know okay that's okay though but that's okay to not is that a hundred percent know who you are as long as you love yourself flaws and all you gotta love yourself through it all that's what i just that's what really just keep me going and what keep my confidence up there knowing for you as far as confidence in youtube like okay i'm being myself and if somebody don't like me for me then i don't want them watching me anyway you know what i'm saying like if somebody don't like me or don't care for me then you know you just don't gotta watch me because i'm like totally fine with that and that's really how i keep confidence because I'm not going to say I've ever been insecure. Of course, there are certain things that I feel like everybody has insecurities. You should know, you just work on them. And you don't, like, try to learn like, a lot of things. But you. other people can also make you feel insecure. Like, you know, if they talk about you. But you can't let what nobody say about you get to you. Just love yourself. Try your best to love yourself. And if you don't love yourself, get right with God. That's really the only advice I can give y'all. Because I'm not good with my words at all. And I keep saying that. Which probably ain't that good, but I'm sorry, y'all. Just know that I love y'all, and I appreciate y'all. And really, that's it. It ain't no more um, 
topics that I want to touch on. I don't been filming for gonna be 20 minutes anyway. So this is a good little video for y'all and it's actually getting cold now. I'm trying to see if, let me see if the degrees drop at all anymore, but it actually is getting cold now. Hold on. Nah, it's still 28. But I'm finna end off this video. So thank y'all for watching. Don't forget to tell your mama, your daddy, your auntie, your uncle, your cousin, your pet, turtle, your pet frog. Your pet pig, your great grandma, your great granddaddy, your god mama, your god daddy. Just tell everybody to come join the mafia because we going straight up to the top. All 2022, I swear to God. I, I don't swear to God. God, I'm so sorry. But I swear to God, we going up. And I'm finna hit my little dance for y'all right quick. Y'all know I got on the car goes. Don't never take them off. But hold on. So I love y'all and we out. Pockets they all crip, but I'm not one of the guys. Why you gotta lie? And I lay posted with Kai. Pockets they all crip.